Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. I have water, precious, life-giving fluid that we're not actually going to use to give life, we're going to use to take life away. Not quite immediately, I have a plan for taking life away with the water. I have a plan for this. I'm gonna also, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need more stuff to be able to do this. Let's just get up on top of here a minute and put the block of water in, which is going to go right in there. So there I've got a water block, and that's going to just bring the water out by a little way. Then, see? They come out, they'll be fine. They, they just get to that point there. You can't go any higher than that, but the adult chickens, they were. They were, the adult chickens were coming out and they were being pushed along. This is what I noticed previously, so I'm hoping that that noted thing will still be happening. Uh, I'm going to put a, just a, another different type of block there. And then I need to get a sign. So I'm just going to go in here and I've got some eggs and stuff in there. Let me get rid of that one and that one. I've got a little bit of space, and then I want to go over this way, and I want to go in through here. Actually, I'll tell you what, I want to look in there. I have got a slime ball right there, and I think a slime ball would be more useful. So what we do is you take the, st the piston, you put that one in, and it becomes a sticky piston, and that means it will hold the block and it will pull it back again after you've used it the first time round. And that's something that we're going to want to do with this next little lot. We're going to use a granite block to do this. I'm going to get two granite blocks because I want one other for another bit on this thing. Uh, not that in there. I want to go over here. I want to come down here. No, not you. Wait, what? I thought I had... Some more signs. Or, oh, I do have signs. There, I do. I have a sign. And I put that one in there. I want that one. Let me just hold on to the torch a minute. Right. Back up this way. I've got a pressure plate. I've got some other bits. So then what we can do is we'll get rid of that one up there a minute. That one can go. And instead, I'm going to put... Uh, I already had granite. Why didn't you tell me I already had granite? Now I just look like a fool. And we put this here, because I don't think you can put a sign on the side of a piece of glass. As far as I know, you can't attach a sign. Oh, you can. Done. Alright, okay. I don't need the piece of granite at all. I can do it with option two, which is to get rid of that, and I'll put a piece of glass in there. Like that. And then I will put a sign on here uh, watch your step done and what that's going to do is it's going to push the chickens out this way so when the chickens turn into adults they will pop out into that bit they will push over this way and then they will fall down here at least that's my plan it's my cunning and dastardly plan so we want to go and take glass up here, and I want to put that one over the top like that, and over here, and then I'm going to want to have uh, this around here like this. Don't know if I want to go any more than that. I could actually just remove that, and we could go up a layer. We'll put some. We'll, we'll put the pink granite in here, so that can go in there like that. Which means, if I'm going to be doing this, I can remove this stuff that's in here, and we will use that to come over this side, if this works. I don't yet know if this is going to work, and I don't know if a chicken is enough to trigger a stone pressure plate. I think they are, but they may not be, so that's, that's kind of like crucial to this entire operation, is whether a chicken can trigger a stone pressure plate. So that one will go there like that. Ooh. Now, if a chicken can trigger that... See, I don't know enough about this game to know whether or not this idea is even going to work. Uh, I want my sticky piston to go here, like this. Now, I've got a feeling 
that if I put the sticky piston down on here like this, actually if I put, I'll put another block of granite out there and we'll move this over a little bit. I'll put a block of granite on there and then I'll put the sticky piston down here like this. I will remove that one. I'll put a bit of redstone dust in there. Right. It does move it. So if the pressure plate does, like, it, it activates the pressure plate. I don't know if I need the redstone under there. I think I do. Yes, right. So I, I am right that I need the redstone under there for this one to activate. But what I want is the chicken to land on there. And then I want a block to come over and, like, choke them. But I don't want it to be that low. And I want it to activate when the chicken lands there and they, they sort of see the chicken. And this is my dilemma. How do I make this work so that I can suffocate them? The only thing I can think of is I don't have that one. See, I can chuck. If I... Okay, that doesn't work. It works with me. It doesn't work with anything else. We're going to have a chicken here to test this in a minute. I'll put you out like that. And I'll bring that down like that. But it, it only shoves it over a little bit. It doesn't, like, keep that one extended. And that's because it breaks that one. I, what I want to do is I want it to stay extended and then I want it to retract again. And that... So that's... This is absolutely not going to work. I need a different way of slaughtering these chickens. Hmm. It needs to be on some kind of timer, I think. All right, forget that. Right, I've been doing a lot of playing around with this thing, and I'm sort of getting a bit annoyed with what is happening with it, and what should be happening with it, and what's not happening with it, and so on and so forth. So I've got idea one more. We're going to do it. We're going to try it, and if this doesn't work, then... That terrified me. Genuinely terrified. Where are you coming from, anyway? He jumped from up there somewhere. Okay. You should not be here. You are an unwelcome guest. You, you're you up here somewhere. You were up here somewhere. You, you fell off from here. Where exactly did you... You shouldn't... You possibly spawned up there. But I don't think you did. It may have actually been up on one of those, but I don't have any more torches, so I will leave that alone. Um, right, anyway, that has now gone and put out another block in here. So we have got on this one 128, 131, 141, and we are day 141. Ideal, right, so that works. We've got lots of days have gone by. I've been messing around with this for far too long. And I've got one more idea. And that's going to require a few a few extra materials. But I'm not actually going to worry about that right now. What I am going to do is I'm going to go back in here. And I'm going to get rid of those items. And I now have, yeah, the birch sign can go. Then I'm going to go into here and get rid of that sticky piston and that stone. Uh, what happened to the other sticky piston that I had? That's another one of the items at despawn. I had a load of chickens and feathers and stuff floating around here when I busted the chest open. And, uh, oh no, the other sticky piston is still right there. Right, that's okay. I've, I've got that one because those are a bit valuable at the moment because I don't have slime. Um, so it's been rather unproductive, I think. But we've made, like, I've, I've found a lot of ways of not how to do, you know, how to not do things. Um, so, yeah, like, uh, that, that, that's a learning curve, I suppose, isn't it? Can, can we class that as a learning curve? Let's go and get rid of you. Um, 
So what I'm going to do at the moment is I am just going to go back to the good old fashioned lava blade method and we're just going to stick with that. Now that lava in there, I don't actually want that, so I will make use of it. Go and get rid of that. Uh, I want to go this way, head back up here and I'm going to put this lava blade back into our machine where we had a lava blade originally and we're just gonna leave it like that so let's go over here i'm gonna just get rid of that one in a second just because i don't want to be carrying it around with me too much uh we're going to remove that stone there let me put the glass back down here we're going to remove that piece of stone out come all of lechicons and then i'm gonna put the lava bucket in there then i'm gonna put the glass in there and then i'm gonna come over this side take that one out i'm gonna put the glass in there as well and it's going to go back to the way that we had it originally after all that messing around just gonna go back to this for now and there is method to my madness. I'm going to basically just make the farm bigger. And so we're going to end up with more chickens on the top, which means more stuff coming through here. So we will sort of overpower the urge for the chicken to disappear in the lava blade, which quite frankly is the most irritating, frustrating part of this whole thing. Now, unfortunately, oh no, I did get rid of some of those fences. I dropped them down this way, didn't I? So I can go and get some of those fences back. And we will go and do what we originally set out to do, which was... They're not in there. They'll be... They're not in there. They're not in there. Where did I... I No, I went and I did... The, the fences were part of the thing that despawned. I had a whole load of stuff there that I accidentally let despawn, which was very foolish of me. Uh unfortunately right well if it's if it's done it's done there's no no use crying over that we, we we we've got fences here we've got some of our other stuff i have at least got these two did i hear a zombie no i think i did we have at least got these two so we will rush these over this way and we are going to go and build our uh, well, I needed a bucket. I didn't need anything else. I just needed a bucket. Can I reach the water from here? Yes, I can. Ideal. Right. And then I need so I need to go out by 10 on here. I think it's, it reaches by 5, doesn't it? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Does it reach 5? Uh, no, I need to go to that one. It reaches out by 4 squares. So I dig that one out. And yeah. Yeah, let's 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 not forget that we've got that underneath, which is just a little bit inconvenient for everybody involved here, really, isn't it? Um, hmm. Right. Well, I, I I forgot about that bit. Let's let's go over this way, and it did have a load of gates that I've now gone and lost. I think they were part of the casualties. So we will do this, and then we will take. Those in there, and those in there, and those in there, and I'll make some more gates. Let's pick these up. Right. I got a few gates. I'll go and put a gate over this side, and then we're going to jump down in underneath. Actually, I could... No. Yeah, I can do this. I can do this, I think. If I put the water block in there a minute, and then I come over here, and I get that one. And then I've got my hoe I've still got, so I can use that one. And then the hoe, one, two, three, four. And that's what I got in here, isn't it? I've got a center one there, and then one, two, three, four. That's what we've got. Right, okay, ideal. So then this goes one, two, three, uh, four out to there. And uh, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four out this way. So that will be, that's actually a gate there, which is what we did over on the other one. So we've got a gate on all sides of the garden so that we can easily go through and like get to the harvesting and do it really quickly. 
So we put a gate in there, which means that I can just run in a straight line all the way through and harvest everything that I want to harvest. So that's got to be a gate. This one's got to be a gate. And I will want a gate over here to access the back part over there, like that. So then we leave a single. Did I leave a single or did I leave a double? I don't remember now. Let's go and have a look. I left just a single line. So we will do the same again over here. We will leave a single line right there. And then we'll put a gate. And then we will go one, two, three, four. And then we will dig that one out. And we will put some water in there. And then those have got all of the water that they need. And then one, two, three, four. Two, three, four out that way. And the same over this way and then we'll do the same again with the gate so i'll put one there i'll put one there and that's going to give us a little bit of a run around the edge on here which i quite like so we'll have a gate there and i've already got one there there's the gates in the corners where's my steaks there all right i'm running out of food we have got chicken we've got the the machine is going to be doing cooked chicken again it, re it produces ridiculous amounts of feathers, and it doesn't produce much in the way of actual cooked chicken. Uh, I've been looking around for different um, solutions. At the moment, I can't find one. For some reason, the granite block, or any block going in there, like the glass block, the chickens can just sit and poke their heads through, but anything else does actually uh, kill all of the chickens. And... All of them. It kills the baby ones as well. And I don't know why it does that. It seems like a really weird thing to go and do to kill all the baby chickens. But, I mean, it does. So th there's nothing that we can do about it. We just kind of need to work with it and we will work around it. We will find a solution. There is always a solution. Um, yeah, I'm keeping those together and I'm keeping a gap between them. I could move everything over by one, but quite frankly, I can't be bothered because I've already got everything built. So we're not going to move everything round by one. I don't have enough torches here, not by a long shot. I'm going to... Can I shift-click this in? No, I can't. I didn't realise that I could put a fence inside that, though. Did not realise that that was a thing, that you could put a fence post in the water and it wouldn't make the block of water disappear. Which is actually a pretty cool thing. Right. I now need to do this with all of these, like this. Right. And yes, I'm going to probably need a bit more light in here fairly soon so that we don't have anything nasty spawning but we'll get to that in a second i do want to have you and i want to put a torch up on top of there so there's that first bit done and then i'll go into this one and we get rid of you and oops uh you and you right there i got one more fence that i want to put down i want to put a fence in here and then up there like that and i will remove the bottom one like that and then i want to just use the iron hoe like this to make a little bit more field like this and open all of this one out and then we will also go and put down a torch on top of that post in just a second and I genuinely didn't expect that one to break quite that quickly. So that means I need to go and get one more hoe. Yeah, I'll do it right now. I will do that hoe right now because otherwise I'm going to forget and I'm not going to end up doing it. So I will go one, two, like that. And then one, two, like that. A stone hoe is fine. You don't need any more than that. I know I had an iron hoe before, but honestly, you don't need any more than stone just for this. Uh, it still does the same. There, like that. And then we will take beetroot and we will take carrot right here. And I'm going to put beetroot. I'm actually going to put that right against the water right there. And, and I'm going to go through here. 
and I'm going to put carrots. Do it on this side. We'll do the same side. We'll put carrots in there. So now I've got beetroots. I've got carrots and I've got potatoes. I've got everything else as well. So I'm going to grab that torch down there. Then I'm going to come along this way and I'm going to go in here. I do have wheat in here. But first, I'm going to slaughter cows. We have quite a lot in here. Now, I think there is a thing that says where we can go and target block, snowy Minecraft, hold a bull. Pretty sure it says there's something that says where the, uh, the, the number of entities that we've got. Looking for entities. Don't know where the entities is. Oh, is it up the top? 102 out of 339. Uh, it's got, I got C, E, and P. I don't know what C is. Right at the top on the left-hand side, integrated server. It's uh, Minecraft, then the FPS and integrated server. C, 1087 out of 26,896. E is entity, 107 out of 340. And then P, I don't know, I have no idea what that is. Right, so I don't know what a lot of those numbers mean. I will eventually find out. There is one cow who has pairs. So I'm just going to go through and slaughter a few of these. Um, let's just run through here like that. And you're out. And then you... Just go through like this and just like randomly attack big groups of them. Eventually, I'll do enough damage to some of these that I'll be able to actually, you know, knock them over. Like that one right there. And then, what was that? Whoa! Right, we need to get some sleep. We really, really, really need to get some sleep. Fortunately, they do make a noise. Yeah, you go over there, cow. Um, they are nasty, nasty critters, they are. Fortunately, I do have a diamond sword these days, so I'm able to do a bit of damage to them. These cows are resilient creatures. Yeah, ah, that's, that's more like it. I've, I've, I've managed to do enough damage to enough of these now that I'm starting to actually take a few of them out which is good they're, they're doing a lot of running away from me i understand you all seem very nervous i'm just like poking you i'm just moving you along it's this you, you do this with cows like you just have a stick and you 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 don't hit them you you just like move them you just poke them a little bit with a stick and it, it just to keep them moving when you're, you're trying to like well move them anywhere um how many more shall I go for here? So I'm, I'm just... It's just my poking stick, that's all. It's nothing to be afraid of at all. It's just a poking stick. Honestly, there is nothing to fear apart from those. Whoa. Right, how many cows have I got left? Several. You can go up there. Some cows there. Ooh, there he is. There he is. Ooh, he dropped something. What did he drop? Phantom membrane. Okay. I don't know what we're supposed to use phantom membranes for, but I'm sure it will be useful. And I think that's probably enough slaughtering cows. So let's breed new cows now. Make them really happy. Here. Right. There you go. Survivors, you get your reward. It's like the Hunger Games, this is. Yeah, those of you that are left, you get really nice rewards. Uh, those of you who didn't quite make it, well, yeah, obviously your rewards are not quite so great. Um, there's you. There's several there. There's still a lot of cows here. Not you. No, oh, there's a few more in here. This is very, very crowded. Stop being so crowded. Okay, I think that's probably enough. Now I can run off over this side. And I need to get away from these cows 
uh, because we've still got those nasty things flying around and I don't want nasty things to attack me. So let's run back this way. If I can avoid them just long enough. There. Get under cover. Actually, let's go and get some sleep. We could probably do that now. Okay, so I got a mountain of beef and we got some leather and we got a few other bits as well. So we're just going to take these and we're going to bring that in here. So for a minute, I'm going to drop the wheat in there and I'm going to keep hold of the cooked chicken. I'm kind of thinking that I want to cook up the beef. I don't think I've got any XP to grab out of that one. I'm going to cook the beef in here, though. So I'm going to take the stone out of there, and I'm going to dump that beef in there. And then I'm going to need to find a little bit... Have we got other phantom... I don't know what to do with phantom membranes. I don't know what can be done with them. Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's uh, just go and have a look in here and we'll see. Is there anything in here that takes... Phantom member. The, the, okay, there doesn't appear to be. Uh, I have no idea what we would do with that. Let's just get rid of the book a second and then we'll pop it in here and we will leave it there. I've got plain stone that can go in there. And I've. I want coal. Or charcoal. Coal or charcoal, I don't mind which. Apparently, I don't have either, which is. A slight problem. Um, I've only got three coal in there. What happened to all my coal? This is terrible. I need, I, I, I need, I need coal. I've, I've got glass in there. That's, that's no good. I have none in there. I have none. I've got a little bit of coal in there, but not very much. We're running out of coal. I mean, we can go and use. I'm just going to pop all of that in there. We can go and use some other items instead. We've got lots of steak here. I need to do something else with the steak, though. Oh, actually, no, don't you... Isn't there a thing um, like you can make a... Is there a beef stew, is there? Is there, is there a beef stew? Is that a thing? Now, that's... I've, I've got a whole thing of coal there. That's a, that's a little bit wasteful. I could drop in some cobbly stone and do something with that. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in there. Uh, that's regular stone. We've already fired that. I'm going to take that and put that in. And that will then turn into smooth stone. And we'll have a stack of smooth stone. So we will go and do that. So I've got some food here. I've got the leather there. i got books down here as well. Uh, paper, rather. I'm going to leave that in there for a minute. And I'm not going to do anything with it. Um... We'll go up to the library in a bit. I've had feedback on how most of you said you want everything with glass up there. But there's something more important that i got to do first. Uh... Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. If you have time, do please consider checking out the links in the description down below. There is one for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers, including but not limited to Minecraft and Farming Simulator. And there is also Fanatical, who sell vast quantities of computer games at very reasonable prices. There is also a discount code in the description alongside the link. If you've enjoyed this video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.